Hey Hope, my name is Jason Duke and I'm the Connections Pastor at our Frisco East Campus. And it is my pleasure to be able to share with you today through this Hopeful Devo. One of the things that you may not be able to tell right now is that I'm in great pain. You see, two nights ago, my daughter and I were playing on our trampoline. And, and I didn't notice one of my kids' soccer goals underneath the trampoline. And so as we were bouncing, is I jumped up really, really high and I got horizontal in order to land on my back and then bounce back up. But as I landed on my back, is there's a metal pole from the soccer goal that is vertical. And so as I went down, I hit that pole right to the left of my spine about my waistline. Now you can only imagine immediately pain just began shooting through my body all through my back and, and through my lower left or through all of my left leg. And, and as I began just yelling out, screaming in pain, because I wasn't even able to say anything, uh, thoughts of what this pain meant began rolling through my mind. Of course, my, I immediately went to the worst case scenario uh, because it just hurt so badly. It caused a, a numbing sensation throughout my entire body. And, and it scared me. It really did scare me. And thankfully, as I spent three hours in the ER and then had a CT scan done as well, the doctors revealed that I had barely missed my spine. And also, thankfully, by the grace of God, I didn't hit any uh, organs or cause any damage, but just had a, a very, very bad hematoma, uh, hematoma excuse me, and um, the swelling was just incredible. And that's what was causing all the pain. There actually wasn't any nerve damage to my spine or anything of that nature. But as I got thinking about that a little bit in, in preparation for this discussion, is I just kind of realized that we all kind of go around in life at times with a lot of things hidden. Just as I said, you wouldn't know right now that I'm in a lot of pain. And I think for many of us, we kind of live our lives in a lot of pain. This time in our life as quarantine has, has kind of been weird. It's been unique for me. Uh, for example, man, I've had to face some of my failures that I've experienced over the last, you know, three months, six months. My failures as a dad, my failures as a husband, my failures as a pastor. I uh, mean, I'm, I'm a person that I think like many of us, we, we don't like failure, but yet we often experience failure. I, I was reminded of a quote by Michael Jordan, and you maybe have heard this quote before, but I remember hearing it all the way back when I was in junior high or high school as a young kid. And it's this, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. I love Michael Jordan's perspective on this, that my failure has led to my success. And I think the truth in that is, is the same for all of us. We have failed a lot in life, but yet it's in those failures that we end up experiencing success. One of the things that I believe is, is that my failures, your failures, don't actually make us failures. They don't make me a failure. My failure actually makes me successful. If I allow my failures to motivate me, to push me forward, to, to make me strive for greater things, then they allow me to experience that success. I think Satan would want the opposite for us in. You see, I believe that God is is using our failures or wanting us to use our failures to drive us closer to him. Man, we have proven in our own lives that we can't do it on our own. Our failures can only take us backwards if we're not dependent upon God. But yet, God desires a deeper relationship with each and every single one of us. And so I want to encourage you today. I was reminded of this passage of scripture, Psalm 145 and verse 14. It says, The Lord helps the fallen. And he lifts those bent beneath their loads. The eyes of all look to you in hope. Talking about looking to God in hope. You give them their food as they need it. I want to encourage you to think about that idea of God giving us our food as we need it. It's not necessarily just physical food that you would eat with your mouth. But the food that we need to survive, the encouragement, the, the perseverance, the, the friendships, the, the people in our lives who are going to prod us on, the Holy Spirit. God gives us the Holy Spirit to help us live our lives to the fullest. 
God gives us hope. He gives us the food that we need, no matter what kind of food it may be. And I just want to encourage you today, as verse 21 says in Psalm 145, I will praise the Lord and may everyone on earth bless his holy name forever and ever. This week, know that you may be carrying some stuff around. You may be hiding some stuff, just like I'm trying to hide my own pain in my life. Sometimes I try to hide my own failures. Let's be honest. We don't have to hide those things. We can trust God with it. We can trust one another with it. And just know that no matter what, no matter the failures in your life, no matter the pain you're trying to, to hide, God loves you and he loves you deeply. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, God, we come before you. We thank you for the fact that no matter what our experiences have taught us, that no matter how we may feel about ourselves, no matter what we're walking through right now, God, we have you, we have your Holy Spirit, and you love us deeply. Lord, we love you and praise you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Well, hope, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you.